The High Mountain Torn are the descendants of the Torn who fought under the leadership of Hohen High Mountain during the War of the Ancients. It is unclear, however, when exactly they settled into the modern region of High Mountain. Originally, as stated at BlizzCon 2015 and by Spirit Walker Ebenhorn during his vision quest, these Torn had already been inhabiting the area since before the War of the Ancients and they merely returned home after the Sundering. The book The Tales of the Hunt, on the other hand, states that after the Sundering, Hone and his Torn wandered the world for a while before eventually settling on the Broken Isles, where they established Thunder Totem as their capital. A different, although perhaps not entirely contradictory version of the tale, according to Ronos Ironhorn, states that the Torn Refu Ironhorn was the first of his kind to settle High Mountain, in a time when Azeroth was plagued by demons, most likely, although not certainly, referring to the War of the Ancients. Even before the War of the Ancients, the tribes of the High Mountain Torn seem to have been in close, often unfriendly contact with one another, and perhaps a certain degree of isolation from the other Torn. The first chieftain of all of the High Mountain tribes was stated to be a blood totem, something which almost certainly predated Holm and the War of the Ancients. In addition, when Hone rallied them against the Legion 10,000 years ago, it is stated that he only gathered the nearby tribes, which were otherwise fighting each other. The enmity between the tribes persisted into modern times, though open warfare seems to have diminished as a result of the truce established by Hone. Namely, the Blood Totem were fiercely militant and isolationist and saw the peaceful and agricultural river main as weak and unworthy. At the same time, the Skyhorn, thanks to their eagles, took over territories the other tribes could not, arousing their envy. It is unknown to what degree, if at all, did the High Mountain tribe participate in these squabbles. The Rivermain tribe was the first to establish the fragile peace that existed until recently between the High Mountain Torn and the Drogbar. It's worth mentioning that it is unknown at what point in time this event took place in relation to the Drogbar uprising against Deathwing, which was aided by Hone High Mountain. The tribe provided much of the food for the other tribes and now agreed to also supply the Drogbar with a large portion of it. In return, the Drogbar provided the river main with alchemical concoctions to use as insecticides and, until recently, the Rivermain had been the tribe closest to the Drogbar when compared with the others. Similar to their Kalimdor cousins and other shamanistic races, the High Mountain Torn burned their dead on funeral pyres. It is also customary for the deceased's widow, child or grandchild to keep a pyre stone from the fire which they often carry with them. The High Mountain Torn also seemingly have a tradition of writing short notes for their dead, which they hang at shrines similar to the one found at Snowblind Mesa. A group of High Mountain Torn, under the leadership of the shaman Trant Prepfoot, recently split from the other tribes. The shaman, probably unaware of the events of the Cataclysm, received a vision at some point in which he saw that Deathwing would return to Azeroth and cause massive destruction, including the flooding of the world. He then led those willing to listen to him away to the Prepfoot compound, where they have been preparing for the coming catastrophe. Trant ordered that they had to stockpile food which takes longer to spoil, though he considers stuff like bananas, milk and unsalted meat to be so. Interestingly, the Torn who follow him share the Prepfoot surname, though they don't necessarily seem to be related. A High Mountain tribe was already established in the lore prior to Legion, though only one of its confirmed members has appeared in World of Warcraft previously, the Death Knight Trag High Mountain. 
While he was alive, Trag traveled to Lordran and allied himself with the forsaken Baron Valamar, who held an artifact known as the Orb of Nerzu, which they intended to use against the Lich King. The two eventually battled each other and died after the Baron attempted to sacrifice Anvina Teague, but the Orb then resurrected the Torn as a Forsaken. Trag then returned to his tribe, the above-mentioned High Mountain in Kalimdor, and sought their aid, only for the Shaman and the Chieftain to attempt to kill him for what he had become. He managed to escape and began struggling more and more for control against the Lich King, being aided by Thrall and the Tonka in his journey to Northrend. Eventually, he reached Ice Crown Citadel him itself, and, in defiance of the Lich King, even struck a blow against him, for which he was killed once again. Resurrected once again by the Orb, but now entirely free, he fought against the Scourge in the Northrend campaign, and later joined the Knights of the Ebon Blade. Aside from this and a few other random Torn NPCs with the surname, and the fact that they are migratory and affiliated with the Horde, nothing is known for certain of the Kalimdor High Mountain tribe. <laughs>